The next thing that we're going to be doing is adding pages to our website. Pages are just like what they sound like. They're just different pages on your website. I don't know any other way to explain it. Maybe I can show you. So on Airbnb, we have, uh, they have different pages. They have a how it works page. They have a become a host page, a help page, a sign up page, and a login page. On Skype, they have a downloads page, a business page, a rates page, and a help page. On the website that we're going to make, it's going to have a home page, an about page, a services, and a contact. And you'll notice that these don't have home pages because when you get to the site, it is their home page. And when you click on their logo, it goes to the home page. So if we go on to the help page and we click on their logo, it will go back to the home page. Now, our website works like that also, where you click on the logo and it goes back, but we've opted to have a home page here. But that's definitely something that is optional and definitely something to look at. So in addition to all these pages up here, these are like the most important pages. We also have pages down here at the footer. So this is called the header because it's at the top. And this is called the footer because it's at the bottom like your feet. So they have more pages here and maybe the top of the website, it gets clicked on more and the bottom is, you know, not any less important, but maybe it gets clicked on less. There are less people looking for careers than they are who want to become a host or sign up. So if we click on the careers page, we can see that it goes to airbnb.com forward slash careers. So that's what we want. We want it to be forward slash, and this is the careers page. So if that is very obvious, you can say, Tyler, okay, that's just make pages already. All right, so now let's make our home about services and contact page. Plus, we're going to make one more at the bottom, the terms of use. And a terms of use page is like um, your agreement with the user and how they use the website or your products or services. So maybe this terms of use would say, you know, don't get mad at us if you get all dizzy and stuff, we told you to stop using it. You agree to stop using, you know, this Google Cardboard if you start getting all dizzy and start feeling weird, um, which is, you know, uh, possible, I think. Um, so let's go ahead and add our pages. So what we simply do is we click on pages in the dashboard and we click add new. In the pages that we're going to be doing are home. So you just type in home. And if we click here, it will go to ourwebsite.com slash home. So that's like slash careers. And I'll show you how to change that later. So it's just the regular home page. But you get the point, publish. And once we've published it over here, then we add new. And right now we're just adding pages. So this would be about. So we can publish it and we see our website.com or whatever forward slash about. So that's our about page. We add new and we have services, maybe publish, add new and contact publish. All right. We're also going to add one more. So we're going to add new. And this one's going to go at the footer or the bottom of our website. And we're going to call this terms of use. All right. And then we're going to publish it. And we are actually going to add things to this. So let's go ahead and Google, go to google.com, our terms of use generator. We can obviously make one ourselves too. And I look through a few of these and I like this one, bennadel.com. I hope I said his name right. If I didn't, Ben, I'm sorry. Um, just click on it. And this one was the easiest one that didn't want any money or anything. So company name, I'm going to say tyler.com. Company state, I'm in California. Obviously, yours would be different. Generate terms of service agreement. Thank you, guys. Um, and so it has all of the terms that says, you know, I don't even know what it says, but it just protects you from, from whatever. 
Um, so right here is we can copy all of the stuff right here. And then if we copy it, then we can paste it in here. But before we paste it, we have to make sure that um, we paste it as plain text. So let me show you that. Let me show you copy. And I'm going to paste it. But before I do that, I want to paste it as plain text um, because it could have weird formatting. So we want to toggle this toolbar right here. And we have this paste as plain text. So we just click on that. And now it says you can paste it as plain text. So we can just paste. And we see that, you know, it all kind of gets scrunched up together. And, um, and we want to paste it as plain text because you never know what kind of different code they have that's not compatible with our website in their website. Or, you know, if you're going from Microsoft Word, you know, sometimes it has special characters or formatting that you don't see and you paste it in here and it kind of messes things up. All right, so that is looking fine, but it's just looking fine. It's not looking that great. And what we can do is we can, you know, highlight it and make it a heading, but all of it becomes a heading and it needs spaces, but we can make the spaces by going over here and pressing enter. I'm sure you guys know how to do this stuff. And then, you know, making um, different headings and um, I'll explain what the headings are in a second. We could do all of that or we can just select all by control A if you're on a PC or command A if you're on a Mac and going to text, clicking on text, and then copying their code basically, which is cool. So let's just copy all of their code. And if you click it once, it will automatically highlight for you. So let's copy all of their code and let's paste it in the text. So this is like the HTML code that we're copying. And now it should, if we go back to visual, get all of that uh, formatting right in everything. All right, so now that we're here, and make sure this is toggled right here, or you're not going to see any of the options. Now that we're here, we can do different things. So again, you can build your entire website just in this editor, even though I'm going to show you how to get a, um, a more powerful editor so you can have full width images in the background and things like that. So you can like highlight this and align it center. And if this one aligns center too, you can just make a space and not align that center. Um, and just do all different types of things. Just like Microsoft Word, you can underline things. You can add more spaces. You can uh, make things into paragraphs or um, you know, pretty much do whatever you want. Add spaces in between all of these, which is a good idea. So it looks a little more separated. And then once we're, we've, we're done, we can update. So we'll update it. And then now what we can do is view our page and see what it looks like. And we can see, first of all, that there's uh, new menu items up here or new pages up here. And some of them repeat and they're in the wrong order. And this terms of service, I mean, terms of use should not be up here. It should be at the bottom. But we can also see that our terms of use page is here and it's formatted pretty good looking pretty good um, except for this page is the default page with the sidebar we want it to be a full width page a full width page is just what it sounds like it goes all the way across so how do we do that we go ahead and click on edit page and again if we're in the dashboard we can also uh, click on pages and get there but we can click on edit page just to make it quick and under template right here towards the right we can go to we can click on full width page and press update and now what that is going to do is make it so it goes all the way across 
very cool. It's looking good. It's looking good for a terms of use page. These don't have to be anything fancy. If you wanted to um, add in a picture, you can simply, you know, let's say we wanted to add in a picture here. You can add media and you can select files from your computer and add one in. We're not going to do that. So that's pretty easy. And we can do, you know, some other basic editing. This isn't a very good editor, editor to make your website. You won't make any website like Airbnb or, or Skype or anything with this editor, but it's good for just regular pages. If you want to make a regular page really fast, then it's excellent. Some other things that we can do is we can highlight any text we want. We can change the color. We can also make these headings. So let me explain these headings. Heading three is the third largest heading. Heading one is the largest, two is second largest, and six is really small. So we can change around those headings just by highlighting and, and doing the headings. We can make things bold or italic, or um, you can make lists by clicking on this or a bullet list by clicking on this one. You could put in quotations. You could do all types of things. You can also make links. So let's say you want this website or um, you, we can click on a link and we can say, we want this to link to a URL. We can you know type in google.com or whatever we want. Or what we can do more likely is click on this and say, we want this to go to the about page and add a link and that you will become a link. And if you click on it, it'll go to the about page. We obviously don't want that either. So we can remove the link right there. All right. Once we do that, we can press update and there are some, you know, more formatting things, some special characters we can add. But we're not going to get into that because this is kind of not the best way to make a page really, unless you're making a real simple page like this terms of use page. All right, so we're going to press update and we're going to view our page again and we're going to see that, you know, we have all of the pages here and if we go to them, they're going to be blank and they're going to have that sidebar because we didn't make it full width. And if we go to the terms of use, it's going to work, but obviously we have stuff to do. Uh, because we don't want this up here. So we're going to exit out of here and we're going to pull up uh, what we need to do and what we have done. So we're going to complete this lesson. So just go ahead and complete it and watch our progress.